Ridership on Caltrain is at an all time high and it's because of that it's investing in some more rail cars to handle all of these passengers. As Night Beat Sharon Chin shows us the cars are hand me downs from Los Angeles. Sharon, what is this all about? Yeah, Veronica, several of the Metrolink cars are right here at the Caltrain rail yard in San Francisco. The rest at the San Jose maintenance yard. Now some look and wonder, are we getting LA's cast offs and why? A passerby took a look at the rail cars that just arrived from Southern California. Cars look pretty beat up, pretty old fashioned. Caltrain bought 16 from Metrolink. If these trains are expendable in LA, why are they good enough for here in the San Francisco Bay Area? Well, as I understand it, uh, Metrolink had a surplus of of rail cars um, that they were able to sell and we were looking to purchase some because we have an onboard capacity issue. Caltrain is smashing ridership records. It averages 60,000 passengers a day. And we're at standing room only. During peak commute hours, Caltrain says each Metrolink car will add 145 more seats and standing room for 150. But getting them on the tracks could take up to a year. Each car has to go, you know, through an inspection process. Wouldn't it be faster to get new trains? We called Ron Dearden Sr., Silicon Valley's father of transit, and he says no. Caltrain is paying $15 million to buy and refurbish the Metrolink cars. New cars would cost much more and take years of environmental reviews and public hearings. Besides, Caltrain plans to make its system electric by the year 2020, so it only needs a temporary solution to crowded rail cars. Some commuters can't wait. If they're adding more, I'd love to see that. Well, it could take up to a year to refurbish each car, but Caltrain says it's going to try to expedite that process. On the Night Beat, I'm Sharon Chin.